Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Awards the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the No Shot uh, Fired or No Bullet Wasted campaign where I'm trying to beat Legendary Iron Man difficulty without a single shot fired and uh, without an, a single explosive item used. So all of that is off the table. It's going to um, account for a very different campaign. The only exception is if we're going to be mind controlled or panicked. Of course, I can't influence the troops then. We are in month number one at the end, uh, to be precise, and it's time for a retaliation mission. To be precise, Operation Purple Pipe is here, when we are now going to take a good look how we're actually going to do the mission, because that's probably going to be a bit more difficult than I would have anticipated. Okay, so let us... First and foremost, take Halop and Hogbite. Both of them are definitely a good choice. I would say Hogbite can use a medkit himself. Halop might be able to use a medkit as well. We gave him the traditional sword. So those are our quote unquote damage, dealer, the, uh, damage dealers, the only ones that can actually deal damage. I'm still on the fence whether or not I want to uh, promote Toxic. There is an advantage that I have uh, thought about, which really might um, favor promoting him. And that advantage would be he has a hit point more. And if he's anyways just a meat sack, then an extra hit point might make sense. Plus we can uh, put him on covert ops missions later. And eventually I'll end up with a sniper and with a gunner as well. So we're going to promote him. And yeah, he's now a demolitions expert. Again, he cannot use either of uh, that really, but we will be able to at least use him more effectively. And I'm still on the fence whether or not a smoke grenade is actually an allowed item. Technically it is a grenade, but it would be nice for that challenge because it is purely defensive and it will not be shot at the enemy. Uh, yet it gives us some sort of cover, so I'll consider whether or not that's an option. And we're taking Rookie Patterson uh, with us. Those two are more um, distractions, shall I say, rather than anything else. Let's see if we're going to be successful with this mission. It's probably going to be incredibly hard. Alright, we just landed. Zero concealment. As usual. And yeah, this is just straight up uh, protection of of um, civilians. I would typically take high ground here. It is tempting, but high ground really doesn't offer us much. So The only thing that high ground does is it gives us a better ability to jump down whilst you cannot jump up, so to speak. On the move. But really, it doesn't do much more than that. Confirmed. Might as well move in. Seeing a lot of enemies, really. Sticking together with the team. And even though it is hard to do, gotta still play disciplined here. We're overhunkering, uh, which is the new technique instead of overwatching. Oh, oh, and I am already thinking about. Oh. I forgot she uh, was uh, going to be here. All right, she reveals everything, which is okay, and she's a low profile. Well. This is going to really, really suck a lot. It's not going to be easy, that's for sure. Not sure if we can take her. It's good to have a mild distraction. That is one enemy pack. Kind of straight ahead here. It's probably one lingering here as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're running straight into another pack. 
Yeah, I mean, it could go to here, but that'll, that'll be stretching it. Okay. We're not overwatching, which makes the whole scenery here a tiny bit worse. Moving up. Copy that. Holding position. Yeah, the chosen will eventually move up. She will not directly move up to us yet, but one more round and she'll she'll get us. In the meantime, we're losing civilians left and right. Gotta make sure that we somehow spot out the chosen. Not sure how. It's going to be a tough, tough one. She's not attacking civilians, so... That's, that cannot work. No, that didn't work out. Let's see if she hides somewhere behind here. Okay, so... That's a no-no as well. Moving up. Check even further. I was hoping we would find her somewhere here. Roger that. Negative. Yeah, we're pretty it's a, it's a pretty large map and we're far away from where we should be. Still putting our Grenadier pretty much in front as a bait. Hawkbite, on the other hand, is going to stay back for now. I want to make sure that he's not going to be attacked first. But I have not yet figured out a full pattern for her. She could have, I mean, sometimes she's jumping right away. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. This definitely is one of the longer times. And in terms of pattern, I haven't really yet fully figured out whether she jumps the first unit or a unit a little bit further uh, to the back. Really depends. Oftentimes it is someone in the front. But yeah, that's not always the case. Aggressively moving in at this point. And we've already lost four civilians, which means we have two more, I think. Well, this here is going to be game over. Ah, three more. Okay. All right. Lucky us. I mean, the unlucky part is rather that we're not going to be able to really, to really shred her. The chosen is in position. Time to put it down. Bonus can just can't reach her. Barely not possible. I mean, if this cover here wouldn't be there, you, we could arguably just sprint to here and hit her. So tempting to just hit her. That you could be an option, but yeah, that's very low chance. Um, to survive it, we're going to be counterattack next turn. And that would be disadvantageous for us. Yeah. Normally, just getting rid of the cover would already be wonderful. Like two shots and she would almost be down. Mm. 
Hmm. Not a good idea. Not alone. Together with the Templar, yes. Alone, no. Moving up. And hunkering down. Roger that. Hunkering down. Sucks to be limited like that. Well, we've just lost number five. I think we're going to lose the civilians. All right, that is at least a few uh, points of focus. let him get captured like the chosen knocked one of our soldiers into a daze we need to get someone over there to help him get back on their feet before that thing can and attack. basically sacrifice him for the greater good the question is really can we take her on That's actually a serious question. I'm just not someone who likes to give up, so we're going to give it at least a try. Let's try to hit her because we just cannot delay it over and over. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. So this here could be a harbor wave, which means we're just going to move over here. Mainly to not stand in a complete straight line. Probably going to lose the mission because these guys here will kill three more civilians before we can mob up the floor with her. Grenade? Have a wave. Oh boy. Wish one could parry harbor wave. We have a soldier down. Get them back on their feet on the double. Hawkeye is more important. Gotta revive him first. Unfortunately, he's disoriented, which means he'll have a hard time catching up. And, well, that is just bad. All right, moving up. Offering the rookie here as bait. Hawkbite, unfortunately, stands in the open. Cannot attack disoriented. And we're going to hunker down with Toxic. Well, that doesn't make the situation easier for us. We just have too little offensive power, and unless I'm willing to sacrifice one of uh, the soldiers, we're not going to win the mission. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. 
If only we had some means of containment. Don't even think about it. I welcome the darkness. There is no place you can run that I cannot reach. That is unfortunately true. We cannot run anywhere where she wouldn't be able to reach us. Found anything there? Still can't hit that guy. The faceless one. This we're still disoriented. Unfortunately, means we gotta move back and continue to hunker down. Can't just charge in with Ranger. Hawkwide needs to get back in shape. I think that was the last one that uh, we can afford to lose. Sort of decent news is we might be able to kill this guy with one go. Not so good news is we certainly can't do it when we're almost dead. They may live on for now, but their time grows ever shorter. I must move. Well, finally we finally we ended the disorientation. All right, so moving up. Yeah, we can't heal and hit this guy at the same time, so got to take pri uh, priorities here. Killing ourselves. The elders will hear no excuses except no failure. Do not disappoint. Not sure if we can actually get, uh, take her down. The elders will fool me. Abba wave. Abba wave. No rock can break this wave. We're hanging on by a threat. She continues to somehow be unscathed. I am coming for you, Commander. Get back in there. And back on feet. All right, let's get this one down. Nice. Solid hit. Perhaps you'd like to try a more adept sparring partner. Get up and get back out. And Toxic is back. Again, we gotta be careful here. Toxic is still disoriented. This here finally gives us all of uh, the focus that we need. Plus a parry. Yeah, we've now lost the mission officially. If we kill her, we get at least get five um, ability points and some experience.
difficult. We can't outrun her in terms of just staying away from her. Might as well follow her to really make sure that we hurt her as well as we can. For now, oh, that is the first strike that we can actually get in. The problem with this challenge is really, I noticed that at the beginning now, we're having too, too little DPS. Even though the Templar is a direct dedicated enemy, there's really not much we can uh, do against her like hit and run techniques uh, whilst these guys continue to just kill everyone grenade figured all right we parried the grenade that was good oh how i wish we would throw a grenade right onto her ugly face <laughs> Well, once again a miss, second time that 90% uh, or supposedly 90% hit misses. Hawkwhite on the other hand tries his very best to kind of keep a lot of uptime on her. Hungering down. And we're just hunkering down here as well. There's no reason to move closer. We could have a wave. Maybe she's jumping down. Yeah, we're going to take a financial hit. By essentially losing this mission. We're not going to lose uh, the entire region, which is the advantage. You cannot lose your starting region. Alright, can we hit her? Oh yeah, we can hit her. Come on. It's the third miss in a row. Oh boy. You make this too easy. My strike surges for Okay, well. Slowly but surely, we're going to grind her down. Hawkbite is definitely the MVP in this mission. And I think we've just lost the last civilian, or almost last civilian. Yet another slash. He, our ranger will be you will not suffer long. Um, in the sick bay for a while. All right, reviving him. Not going to heal him because I want to kill her instead. Okay, well, at least five ability points. I think she's worth also a little bit of experience, um, and that's really what we're here for. Trying to not lose anyone, and at the same time, yeah, get experience. And I knew that the that the start would be pretty rough, so you just cannot win all of the missions if you're not fighting back. The game is balanced around. The game is balanced around uh, having the ability to actually, yeah, shoot back. And if that's not the case, then yeah, unfortunately, you're ending up with having too little damage per round.
Okay, moving up here. Still would like to highlight that we can and should heal Halo. I'm here to assist. And we're hunkering down. So we got one more faceless one and one more normal pack to go. On my way. Open up. Copy that. Very theatralic uh, jump through the uh, through the window there. Good, yeah, and then we finally, we finally found them. Fear of sectoids. I think he was mind patrolled by a sectoid multiple times, so yeah, I can understand why he's unhappy about the situation. Let's make sure we're killing the advents first. There we go. I just have to wonder if if we were heading for that uh, pack like right away, and let's say we would have just tried to eliminate them from the very get go, would that have changed anything? Could we have won the mission? I'm not sure. We would have probably gotten ourselves in pretty troublesome water because by moving and uh, attacking these guys, we would have gotten both of the uh, both of uh, the faceless ones right from the get go. And two faceless ones, these two plus the Chosen at the same time, would have probably been a little bit too much. I mean, the Chosen alone, let's be honest, was a pretty, pretty nasty challenge for us. And if we wouldn't have had uh, Hawkbite, who was the direct adversary, uh, adversary for her, it wouldn't have worked out. deploying their so-called priests into combat. Their implants provide significant enhancements to whatever latent psionic energy they may have once possessed. All right, uh, this here would be completely out of line of sight. I think we're going to take that option. Let's offer a rookie. As an alternative target. How could we get there even further? I mean, we could sprint all the way up here. That'll allow us to completely be visible by all three of them. This here is not too bad. They would need to rush all the way to here. This here, the this plant would not um, would not flank the position, which means we're good to go. Putting Hogbite in a solid hunker down. Stasis probably, yeah, and that's okay. That's what the rookie was there for. That's the last civilian.
moving up so that we get a pretty clear line of sight. Could you hit four ones, please? Like that's the fourth. And I'm not exaggerating, it's the fourth time that he actually missed. Which means we're a bit left alone with our parry here. Moving to position. Standing fast. Like that is statistically unlikely that with 83 to 88% chance that you're going to miss like that often. Luckily, Holy Warrior. And if if we're lucky, this guy is going to shoot into parry. That would be fantastic. We're unfortunately not lucky, he's going to try to kill him. Oh wow, that was close. Oh boy. Halo. We cannot not attack. That's really not an option. What we can do is we can... The problem is, Hawkbite cannot kill both of uh, either of them with one strike. So let's try our best to get this guy down. For once, that was a hit. We're taking the safer route because the priest says sustenance or a potential sustenance, which would be pretty devastating for us. Thus, killing this guy allows us now to parry. We're just going to stay in full cover here. Priest can steal stasis. Or simply take a shot, that's okay as well. They will try to shake my confidence. Moving up. Very nice. And only one faceless one is left over. Oh boy, that was a pretty rough mission. At the end, we were not successful, but we're, yeah, we're still in it. And at the end of the day, overall, we're in it to win it. So we're not going to let that minor setback discourage us. Hawkbite is trying to solo kill this guy one on one. Harry. Everybody else moves a bit away. And we're tr uh, testing our hunkering skills. Templar Perry OP. Unfortunately, we don't have enough hit points to follow up, which is why I leave our ranger completely behind. Instead, we're just one on one and playing some solid XCOM. Was it the right decision to uh, lose the mission but gain AP and uh, level everybody up? Or should I have been more greedy? I let you decide. Uh, you can leave that in the comments below. I think the rating pool doesn't really reflect how hard we fought to even rescue one civilian. And it was certainly not an easy mission, but it was clear from the get-go that we were fighting um, at a disadvantage. Well, well, well. The After Action Report. We got one promotion for a sniper. Yep. 
There we go. Now we finally got all of uh, the classes out of the way. Um, which means, yeah, both of them will not really see much action, but that is okay. 25 uh, uh, days of wounding for Halo. That guy has had a rough mission. I think he got knocked down thrice to one hit point. So all of his internal organs have probably been reorganized after that mission. But yeah, the man of the hour, 24 kills, 3 missions, MVP Hogbite. Hello, Commander. Yeah, minus 23 supplies and plus 3 supplies. This is the one secured. This is kind of the partial success, so to speak. It's the one saved civilian, so we're at minus 20 and tw instead of minus 23. Yeah. Not the best outcome, but also not the worst outcome. Overall, actually moderately okay. We've confirmed with our resistance contacts that they're tracking the Chosen we just fought. Apparently, it's already laid claim to some nearby territory. Well, there we got the first Chosen. Wonderful. Uh, do we want to have soldiers? Maybe I like supplies more at this point, so we're doing exactly that because we're short on supplies and with the crackdowns, uh, it's going to be a bit iffy. We need to expand soon. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. So yeah. It is unfortunate, Commander, that your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. Chosen your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. Gone for ground, we go. Oh boy. Oh. Are you kidding me? We're, we're playing with permanent dark events, and this here is just the worst. Like, undying loyalty. Oh, that stinks. Gun, uh, gun to ground. That stinks as well. Oof. That is just so rough at the start of uh, the entire campaign. Having undying loyalty as a permanent event is, is just cancerous. But a permanently closed black market? Oh boy, that's bad as well. Commander, the factions have pledged their support to XCOM, and they're ready to carry out your orders. As our okay, faster bonds or plus two power for the Avenger. I think we're starting with uh, two plus two power for now. And we're going to get the bonds a bit later. We'll need to send our own soldiers out to work with the resistance factions to complete these covert actions. I think we're going to get this engineer. Plus eight dodge is fantastic. We don't have any soldiers. Yeah. At this point, we've committed so many of our soldiers. Wait a second. Sue Cougar will be that soldier, and Roby here will get the sweet, sweet plus eight dodge. So if we're making him a ranger, then we already got a ranger with dodge. I like it. Locating the other factions might be fun as well, but the engineer is just too good to pass it by. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. Commander. The resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. But yeah, let's get the resources and then get those resources and then make contact. We need immediate resources now. Then get the other resources and then make contact. Perfect. So that's the starting point for psionics. If if we so decide to go down that route, but we don't have Valerium yet. I would like to go for plated armor as soon as possible. And the, tr the faces uh, corpse is definitely worth it for mimic beacons. I would really like to go for plated armor, but we don't have alloys. Modular weapons will get uh, give us weapon upgrades. Does that really help us? No, not really. We can almost ignore all of the weapon upgrades. We can ignore, matter of fact, all of the weapon upgrades. Just straight out ignore it. Resistance radio is not too bad, but we don't need it yet. Trooper Corpse would be Battle Scanner. That's a good item. 
That's not a bad item. Um, and it has two charges, so no might as well just start with that. It is actually not a bad item for us. Administration views our current band of renegades. Do they see? Um, Commander, we've got local resistance besides... waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. Commander, the factions have indicated they know how to track down the chosen. If we were to hire someone, Ed Galleon Poe is available here. I like that. Jessica Jones is available. Mike Bravo is available. Oh yeah, we got a couple of um, top uh, top picks here. At one time, I was employed as a biochemist in the pharmaceutical industry, mainly researching. Yeah, we're, we've just gotten ourselves two additional rookies, so that's good for training purposes. Um, and yeah, that that should be fine for now. we're lucky to have you with us. I appreciate the sentiment. Thank you, that's enough supplies for now. I would really like to go for the additional supplies. But we also have enough intel. I see it's like what, eight, the, uh, we, we don't have enough intel for we'll have to both. For a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Let's make contact now. Even though that means we have wasted one day in uh, in, um, in scanning here. The reason why I would want to do that... Sorry, antivirus scanner just came up. The reason why I would want to do it is... Soon we're going to have a uh, covert action mission. And two regions means we have two choices. So let's make contact now. Setting course for Sector 9, Western United States. This year also is 90 um, income every single month, and we gotta, we've got to be smart now. Battle Scanner is available, which is pretty good. Going for a faceless autopsy next. And that's the Avatar project. Wonderful. It just started. Good. We're continuing. And this is what I wanted to technically um, prevent. So yeah, the, the game has made the decision for us. We're, uh, we're now trying to... Uh, prevent the permanent closure of the black market before we even found it, which is fine. It's great to have a scientist as an additional reward. With the engineer from the covert ops, we would be at two engineers, three scientists, which is good for uh, month number two. So we're tracking uh, with regards to that. In terms of our building order, uh, we're still clearing debris. That's fine. Guerrilla Tactic now gets our next stranger out, which is fantastic. So. I would like to get yet another ranger afterwards because it's the only thing that we can use at this point and they will frequently be injured so we gotta have quite a few rangers um clearing alien debris that would be a, um, a proving ground next because we gotta build some items and in terms of extra items that we could use yeah like i said smoke grenade would be fine but I'm still on the edge whether or not that would be legal for this run. Battle scanner certainly is something that could work as well. Like that definitely is legal for the run. Medkits have already worked out well. Mind shields are fantastic, um, but a bit too early for them. In terms of armory, let's take a small look there as well. We got Hogbite, um, who is close to another promotion. He's definitely carrying the run so far. Halop is the only ranger that we do have. Soon, um, Bebert will join him. So that would be the second ranger. We got Sona, though. Um, so some aid protocol, at least. Uh, which, uh, with the necessary training, could also turn into uh, another damage dealer. 
I'm beginning to see and it. yeah, lot lots of wounded uh, soldiers uh, that that we currently cannot uh, take care of. So it is what it is. Faces autopsy will be good. The mimic beacon would be um, a definite help at this point. I'm uh, slightly bit concerned that we need alloys uh, because we don't have them at this point just to start uh, the armor production. Anyways, this brings us to the end of today's uh, session. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel and like what you are seeing, consider subscribing. Only 50% of my viewers are actually subscribed. Uh, I noticed that and was surprised about it. Or uh, consider at least leaving a like down below because the algorithm of YouTube likes it and will promote that video to more people if you do so. Thank you and have a great one. We see each other in two days. Bye-bye.